Alright, hello all you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite, and welcome to my last competitive Pokemon battle of Generation 6. So this is against my friend, and uh, as it happens, the YouTuber who caused me to want to start doing YouTube myself, playing with my Wii, also known as Anthony. And he's got a team of all Eevees, as you may have noticed on that team preview screen, and I'm going to be leading off with a Steelix. Uh, he goes and uses a superpower, which I was expecting to fire blast, but I was also expecting to be able to survive a fire blast, or a uh, fire blast, uh, flare blitz, and uh, stay in, use Stealth Rocks, which, which turned out to be very important in this battle, um, fortunately enough for me. Um, unfortunately, I don't really want to stay in and face anything else, what is, any face anything else that he might have to throw at me, so I go and switch out into Slow Bro, um, and, and another superpower goes and uh, does, well, you can probably expect how much damage a minus one superpower is going to be doing to a slow bro. Anyway, so this thing's at minus two, minus two attack and defense, so he's going to decide to withdraw it, and in is going to come splashy the Vaporeon, the Vaporeon, and um, let's see, so poison, uh, not poison spikes, uh, pointed stones are going to dig into Vaporeon, do a little bit of damage for me, which is pretty nice, I'm going to go and make it evolve into mega slow bro, and... Um, Cake, the Mega Slowbro, is going to be using Psychic, and Psychic does a decent amount of damage to this thing. It was a little bit less than half, I think. Um, that is a Citrus Berry restoring a quarter of his HP, which is really rather unfortunate. Um, but I don't want to stay in and do that anymore. I don't really think I can do a whole lot of damage to this thing, and I don't really want to stay in and see what he can do to me. So instead, I go and switch out into Ferrothorn. Uh, he predicts that, I assume, uses Scald. Unfortunately, it doesn't burn me. And, um, I mean, fortunately for me, unfortunately for him, doesn't burn me. I decide that, even though I take that pretty well, I don't want to risk the burn and go and switch out into Brock, uh, the Steelix that I let off with. And Brock is basically just sacked off and goes down. And now I can bring in Stendar, the uh, Electivire. And here, instead of going outright and using an electric move, uh, well, one, he goes and uses a Protect, so it wouldn't have hit anyway. But I go and use Earthquake, kind of expecting him to switch into a, uh, a Jolteon. Or something of that nature that doesn't take a whole lot of damage from electric. Anyway, so he is again going to go and withdraw, and instead of a Jolteon, in comes in Celesti, Celesta, whatever, uh, the Umbreon. And the Umbreon is going to go and take an Ice Punch pretty nicely. I want to say that it did less than a quarter, and um, the leftovers are really going to mitigate that damage. I think uh, Stealth Rocks did about as much damage as the Ice Punch did. Anyway, so Stendar is going to come out, Hug Me is going to come in because I don't think a uh, and Umbreon can do a whole lot to a hug me. Uh, you're gonna use Toxic, it doesn't affect Steel types, which is pretty convenient. And uh, more Leftovers Recovery is going to go and uh, restore some HP, so that really wasn't a whole lot of damage that uh, Ice Punch did. It really got like nullified pretty quickly. Anyway, uh, let's go and use a, uh, a Withdraw. I was gonna say, let's go and use a Leech Seed, except Leech Seed happens to miss, uh, which is unfortunate. Although it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because I decided to stay in here, and between the recoil on Flare Blitz and the Iron Barb's ability and the Rocky Helmet that I'm carrying, uh, Firecracker here actually ends up taking quite a lot of passive damage. Um, this is like, what? I want to say that was like two-thirds of HP uh, in one shot, and I didn't even have to attack it, I just had to stay in there, I just had to stay in there and take the hit. And he's gonna withdraw the Firecracker, and that doesn't really matter because it's dead on the switch-in, thanks to the Stealth Rocks. Um, Splashy Davy Porion is going to come back in, and, and I have sent out what is probably my, my most used Pokemon in Generation 6 battling, uh, Swellow. I really like this thing, in case you haven't noticed, um, all the battles I posted, like, probably more than half of them include Swellow. Um, anyway, so Toxic Ore kicks in, which is pretty nice. He goes and uses Protect, which does stall out with turning of the Toxic, which is a shame, although I want to say this is getting towards the tail end of the battle, so I don't really think it matters. Um, once, once this thing gets going, it's honestly rather hard to stop. Anyway, he is going to switch out uh, Vaporeon and switch in Celestia the Umbreon. And Celestia the Umbreon is going to take some Stealth Rocks damage, and a facade, uh, coming from the full power of a Swallow that's been poisoned with Guts, is, uh, is easily going to take the Umbreon down. And that's one massive threat out of the way. Or not a massive threat, but a really uh, massive pain in the neck, I might say, because of its uh, walling capabilities. Anyway, so Sparks comes in, and, um, Sparks is going to take some damage from Stealth Rocks there. I'm expecting a Jolteon to be faster than a Swellow, so I do go and switch out into Stendar. Um, if you do have a, uh, if you do have an, a Fire-type, no, uh, Fire, where did I get Fire? Uh, if, I, if there is an Electric-type coming, 
Uh, that would have, like, kicked in my uh, motor drive ability, raised my speed a bit. Unfortunately, I guess he didn't want to be, like, too overambitious and wouldn't use Tin Power Ice. Um, that was a Signal Beam, which is a bit of an interesting choice, um, because it's not... I'd imagine there are moves that Jolteon has access to that could have done more damage to a, uh, an Electivire, but apparently not. So anyway, um, I'm going to be spamming Low Kick for a bit, and that's going to take the, uh, the Jolteon down. And that, um... I want to say that Life Orb damage was very helpful, because I don't think I would have been able to do a KO without it. Anyway, a Firecracker comes back in. Uh, I don't know if he just forgot that the Stealth Rocks were there or what, or if he just wanted to get it out of the way. Um, but uh, Flareon goes down without me actually having to do anything. Uh, next is Leaf Yacht, which is definitely my favorite of the evolutions. Um, if you watched me battle in Gen 5, you would probably know that, because I like spammed it plus Sun all the time. Anyway, so you are going to go and use... Um, Sword Stance, which is going to raise your attack, which is a little bit scary. Although, uh, I do still have that Swellow who's alive, so I'm not too worried quite yet. Uh, you're gonna use Return, which is way overkill on the Electivire, uh, with or without the, um, uh, with or without the Sword Stance. Uh, so anyway, Prima comes back in, Swellow, and Prima is going to use Brave Bird, and even though Leafeon has pretty good physical defense, uh, this thing is not going to survive that. Um, it's a very strong move to begin with, plus the type attack bonus, plus the boost from the Guts ability. And the Leafeon has gone down. And is that the end of the battle, or is there one more? I think there's one more. You have a, uh, a Vaporeon left or something like that, don't you? Is that even it? Oh, there's, uh, obviously, there's a Sylveon, who's basically, uh, Anthony's, like, mascot Pokemon, if you were to have one. Um, Sylveon is a very annoying Pokemon for me, because it's a fairy type, and I do not like fairy types. Among other things, it's really kind of like a miniature, uh, Vaporeon to me, almost, because of how defensive it can be. Um, but anyway, a, uh, Physical return at full power, again, is uh, more than enough to take the, uh, the Sylveon down, and that's another massive threat out of the way. Uh, Splash comes back in, takes some damage from Stealth Rocks, has like 2 HP left. Um, again, using Protect to try and stall out damage from Poison, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think I could survive a Poison, can I? Yes, I survive a Poison. Um, you're going to use Protect again, it fails, although it doesn't really matter because I do have Pokemon left on my team who are still standing who can take this thing down. And um, a critical hit as if it matters, goes and takes the Vaporeon down. So, um, I've defeated Anthony. Good game, Anthony. Um, I, I feel like I should just, like, pick up one of my own Eevee teams and fight him with that, because, um, it might be a bit more of a balanced playing field, but nevertheless, this concludes my series of Generation 6 Pokemon battles. Uh, my name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.